thank, thank you, Mr. President. That was terribly nice. And uh, believe me, I hold it right here. <laughs> it, it's wonderful. And I, I thought about what I, I might say to you, and I, I'd like to say so, something I enjoy is talking to high school students, grammar school students, college students, even law school students. And, and uh, they'll come around and ask me, what, 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 is the, what is it you find particularly meaningful about your job? What sort of gives you a thrill? And that's not such a tough question for me to answer. Uh, it's the same thing. Day one, almost. <laughs> Up to day, I don't know how many. But, but the, the, what, what I say to them is, look, I sit there on the bench, and after we hear lots of cases, and after a while, the impression, it takes a while, I have to admit, but the impression you get is, you know, as you well know, this is a complicated country. There are more than 330 million people, and my mother used to say it's every race, it's every religion, and she would emphasize this, and it's every point of view possible. And uh, it's a kind of miracle when you sit there and see all those people in front of you, you, you uh, the people that are so different in what they think, and yet they've decided to help solve their major differences under law. And when the students get too cynical, I say, go, go look at what happens in countries that don't do that. And that's there. I can't take this around in my job. But people have come to accept this Constitution, and they've come to accept the importance of a rule of law. And I want to make another point to them. I want to say, look, uh, of course people don't agree, but we have a country that is based on human rights, democracy, and so forth. But I'll tell you what Lincoln thought, what Washington thought, and what people today still think. It's an experiment. It's an experiment. That's what they said. And Joanna paid each of our grandchildren a certain amount of money to memorize the Gettysburg Address. And the, the reason, the reason that, that, that what we want them to pick up there and what I want those students to pick up, if I can remember the first two lines, is that four, four score and seven years ago, our fathers brought up... Uh, created upon this uh, 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 here a new country, a country that was dedicated uh, to uh, liberty and the proposition that all men are created equal, conceived in liberty, those are his words, and dedicated to the proposition that all men are created equal. He meant women too. And uh, we are now engaged in a great civil war to determine whether that nation or any nation so conceived and so dedicated can long endure. See, those are the words I want to see. An experiment. And that's what he thought. It's an experiment. And I found some letters that George Washington wrote where he said the same thing. It's an experiment. That experiment existed then because even the liberals in Europe, you know, they're looking over here and they say it's a great idea in principle, but it'll never work. Uh, but we'll show them it does. That's what Washington thought. And that's what Lincoln thought. And that's what people still think today. And I say, well, I want you, and I'm talking to the students now. I say, I want you to pick just this up. It's an experiment that's still going on. And I'll tell you something. You know who will see whether that experiment works? It's you, my friend. It's you, Mr. High School student. It's you, Mr. College student. It's you, Mr. Law School students. It's us, but it's you. It's that next generation and the one after that. My grandchildren and their children. They'll determine whether the experiment still works. And of course, I am an optimist, and I'm pretty sure it will. Does it surprise you that that's the thought that comes into my mind today? I don't know, but thank you. Doctor, I don't know that you've ever been to the White House in the Lincoln bedroom, but I invite both of you to come and stay. And the Lincoln bedroom has, against the wall between the windows looking out, a handwritten copy of the Gettysburg Address written by Lincoln in that bedroom, allegedly, or the sitting room. And so you've got to come and see it. And even if you can't come and say, Bring your grandchildren so they can see it as well. 